Once again, the donut hole is closed, adding that winter wouldn't bother him so much if it wasn't six months long. But it feels that way, Jim. But he said the good thing is no mosquitoes. I'll more in your Ag Day forecast in just a few. With inflation and interest rates still rising, what does that mean for farmers going forward? We head back to North Dakota coming up in analysis. And later, helping the whole farm family cope through trying times in the country. With inflation continuing to run hot, these higher interest rates are likely here to stay for a little while. Michelle Rook takes a look at what that means for farmers once again from the CHS Ag Industry Days in North Dakota. Joining us with this morning's market analysis, Tommy Grisafi with Advanced Trading. And Tommy, let's talk about short and long-term interest rates. They are on the rise, aren't they? Yeah, farmers are really starting to notice that. And I don't think they're really familiar with talking about the yield curve, but they very much notice that you can get four and a half, five percent in a three and six month CD, yet the 10 year just crossed four percent. And so we have an inverted yield curve, which usually gives a sign that there's a recession. But for farming, in my opinion, it's a great opportunity. You're either paying interest or earning interest in something we haven't talked about in a long time. It's been 15 years since we've had a conversation about selling grain and putting that money and getting 5% versus watching what happened where grain goes down 50 cents and losing that money. So it's very serious right now, the cost of money. So if you have to borrow money for operating, obviously there's a little sticker shock there, isn't there? Yeah, so right down the street, I, I my office is at First State Bank in Mayville, North Dakota, and uh, a lot of farmers aren't necessarily borrowing a lot of money right now because they're cash strong, but if they had to borrow money, it's a big price, seven, eight, nine percent on operating, big difference from where we were three, three and a half, four percent just a year ago. So what's your advice to producers right now then? Well, the market was given a big signal to sell grain. If you store your grain, it looks like it would be 12, 14 cents lower, but yet the farmer's so hopeful and optimistic that grain would be higher. So we, the same philosophy, nothing's changed now except for the market drop. If you are selling grain, we want to own a call, call spread, probably go to that July uh, level. Obviously the best time to sell, every farmer wants what they could have had a month ago, a week ago. I'm not so sure we'll go back to those prices right away. No, but is the bottom in in the grains, do you think? I think we could have a, a wild spring and summer. We still have a lot of weather. Just around here, there's four foot uh, piles of snow. It's going to be a long time till the snow melts. One optimistic thing is that a lot of moisture has hit the Midwest and we needed that. So if it does, if spring does come and the heat comes, we'll get that crop in. All right, Tommy Grisafi joining us with Advanced Trading. We're here at the CHS Ag Services Ag Industry Day in Grand Forks. On the road here with Ag Day, I'm Michelle Rook. Interested in spending a day with a trader? Call Tommy Grisafi at 800-664-4383. Get in the game and be part of the 2023 Bracket Busters Challenge presented by Case IH. It's Farmer versus Farmer for a chance to win the $1,000 top prize. Go to agweb.com to fill out your bracket once teams are selected on Sunday, March 12th. 